Uh, Flashback. She only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus Phlegm. Uncle Chuck Ooh, wanted Lucas something films? else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. All right, mailbox it is. Print drawn books. Journal. Find the ideal job. Check the mailbox of the computer magazine. Escape from Thimbleweed Park. No. Nope. I like that picture of Einstein that she has on the, hanging up on the wall. I see the mailbox is outside. Oh, this isn't outside. It's a library. <laughs> I'd be like with a photo and I don't like it, yeah. If only I was handsome like fucking Einstein, that'd be sick. <laughs> Walk to the mailtron. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. Science. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. <laughs> all right. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Lucas Phil uh, Flem Yeah, that's definitely Lucas. Or it'd be Lucas Arts, wouldn't it? I think it's Lucas Arts. Do you have what it takes to become a highly paid game programmer? Mucus Flem Games, the makers of hit games Three Lines of Haze and Behind Jaggy Lines. It's looking for qualified applicants. Just complete and mail in this comprehensive programming test, and you can be on your way to an exciting and highly profitable career in computer game development as a mucus lit game programmer. Imagine the perks. A special magazine, yeah. <laughs> it's like a Playboy, but for programmers, I guess. Imagine the perks. Long hours, non-diet soda and pizza. Can't go wrong with that. Works with people who don't want to get to know you either. Can't go wrong with that. Out-of-date arcade machines in the rec area. Watch your parent company's profits grow. Apply today. Use your computer to connect to a mucus, a mucus phlegm to apply. Wow, an ad for a job at Mucus Phlegm Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make mu- Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. Digging. Digging. So let's, uh, let's go back to the computer. Let's see if I can get her applied to mucus phlegm. Going up, keep going up. Thumbleberry pie. I didn't even realize I had that. Nope, it's down here. Uh, open, open door. Uh, use computer. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. It's connecting. God, gotta love dial up. I can't believe my computer's connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online Mucus Phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Exactly. Then print out the application. That's sound that no one can forget, Phlegm. that's for sure. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? My name is Dolores Edmund. Thank you. What is your address? Oh shit, I don't even know. Can I like close it? Noted. Next, oh, your I picked, programming fuck, language I picked one by accident. The language you are most I didn't realize the in. keyboard does not. Uh, the fuck, I don't know this either, so I'm going to say all the above. Very ambitious. We like that. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. 
First question, how many actors can be displayed at one time? Bruh. I don't know this question, and I program. I'll get back to you on this. Yeah, let's do that. It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. Yeah. I need to go find a book about mucus programming. So that'll probably be in uh, the library. Hmm. It says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. 3.1 There's a sign there. Better read it first. How many actors can be displayed at a There's time? There's a sign there. Better read it That's what first. what I was saying. Oh, I have to read the sign? Let's really read the sign. It says, out of order. <laughs> out of order. Oh, someone's ringing the doorbell. Watching a laptop mounted speakers. No worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm coming. I'm that coming to the like door. The doorbell. I'm coming. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores, here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Which makes me want to $50, fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. Can I open it? Open? Letter. I'd better not open ah. it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it if the envelope is ripped. I tried. I assume his workshop's in this door. Oop. In the store. What the heck? I still get lost after all these years. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god. This is the exact reason why I hate big houses. Oh, I didn't even see this door. Franklin, you oh. idiot! I'm just trying the to door I can see. Help. Is that yelling? Oh, gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. We make pillows. What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it. No, no, no! It's a pillow factory. Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. Your brothers. Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. That looks like you know, Einstein. Your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my 0.8 millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a two millimeter flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. Uh, let's give letter to Uncle Chuck. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. Said you don't know how to... <laughs> it's pretty much... I don't know how to solder, so I have no idea what, what was going on. Uh... Okay. Hello, my favorite niece. Uh... 
just wants to help. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for chatting, Uncle Chuck. I don't want to bring Why up. Why uh, your ASCII conversion? All my Tron's a little on bit, it. so that's kind of okay, with it. Okay, Uncle Chuck. <laughs> You know a lot more than I do, that's for sure. All I know about soldering is you uh, heat metal to do something on a chip or like a board or whatever they're called. <laughs> that's all I know. All right, let's go back in the let's go back in the library. Or do I have to actually do something for the library? Might bring some electronic stuff to the stream. Ooh, that'd be fun. What were you thinking about? Uh, the sign says it's out of order. What were you thinking about doing? I can't pull that. Can't pull it. Chuck is such a bully. Uh, Uncle Chuck should never have talked. Uncle Chuck never should have talked to you like that. He's right. My idea was worthless. I'm worthless. Dad, I don't like to see you like this. I liked your idea for the pillow factory. Chuck thought it was a bad idea, and he's right. He's never even read it. You need more confidence, and stop letting Uncle Chuck push you around. Thanks, Dolores. You're a great daughter. But Chuck knows what is best for the factory. Yeah, uh, what kind of, like, electronic stuff were you thinking of, uh, about doing? Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. The sign says it's out of order. No one will miss this out of order sign. <laughs> so I could just the take it off. The order sign is gone, so it's wow. obviously fixed. Haven't been up here oh, for a do. long time. So it said 3.1, I think, for the book. 3.4, 3.3, 3 3.2, 3 3.1. Now I need to find that. That's what I want. So pick up. Where'd it go? The following book is proprietary, confidential, blah, blah, blah. 236 function takes up eight parameters. Eight actors can be displayed. It says oh, out of order. Let me click that sign. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. Okay. First question, how many question. actors can be displayed at one time? Which is eight. Next question, variables can be modified while debugging your program. I mean, that's technically true. It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before yeah, I answer yeah. these. I should actually read I the need book, to study. Uh, greatest adventure scripting language resolution mansion mansion cooperative multitasking language that allows multiple scripts to run concurrently allows 256 room local variables function can take up the source in a separate monitor can be modified yeah that's so I was right about that MFL files for distribution XOR encryption room backgrounds are compressed and character sets so the screen scrolls and moves by 8 pixels up to 256 sounds okay Let's see if I can remember all that Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, oh, how many actors can be displayed at one time? All this down, shouldn't I? Uh, eight. Next question, variables can be modified while debugging your program. That is true. Next question, when a game ships, it is encrypted using... Uh, XOR. Next question. When the screen scrolls, it moves by... Eight pixels. Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed Heck the yeah. Mucus Phlegm programming test. Yay! Look, Mom, I I'm a programmer. I answered all questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Uh, pick up application. I 
you. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is. I'll try blank. my hard at repairing stuff. Maybe the also. printer is out of ink. Uh. Why isn't the? It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. Okay, why did it print a blank application? Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Oh, there's no paper in the Printron 3000. So I need paper. Gotcha. There's lots of paper there. Yeah, it's all Chuck heaven. Hello, my favorite niece. Uh. Do you have any new P uh, printer? You should oh, be fuck nicer to my father. I always clicked the wrong thing. He just wants to help. Franklin is well-meaning, I will give you that. But he just doesn't have the same passion and vision for pillows that you and I have. Hmm. <laughs> Uncle Chuck, do you have any new printer ribbons? You know I don't buy new ribbons. I just re-ink them myself. Printer ink is a scam. Not Why wrong. Why get rich by wasting money? Just get some it's like fifty dollars for printer ink nowadays. Along with ketone and make the ink like I showed you. Of course, thanks, Uncle Chuck. Right, I have no idea what he just said. It's still true now. Yeah, that's exactly it. Let's look at this letter. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been canceled. Oh, Dolores, 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 how many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon Hello, my favorite does he, niece. Does he know where this... How do I make printer how ink? How do I make printer ink? Printer ink is a scam. Make your own, like I showed you. And if you really want to do it cheaply, just get some ash and gasoline and mix well. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I mean, if you want, you can DM me That's now. So uh, I won't read it out loud. I won't show it. Um, or anything. Uh, and then I'll look at oh, it after this. Dolores, Dolores, I'll look at it. Uh, I, I will look at it after the stream things. for sure. But as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory, they're all yours to do with as you wish. All right. Hello, my favorite niece. Okay, so what do I need? Because I need to remember the shit. How do I make ink? Printer ink, ink is, is a scam. scam. Yeah, I get it. Make your own, like I showed you. And if you really want to do it cheaply, just get some ash and gasoline ash and, and mix it. Well. Of course. Thanks, Uncle Chuck. Ash and gasoline. Question is, where can I find ash and gasoline? Uh, I don't think there's any ash in my room. So let's go this way. I haven't gone in any of these doors yet, so let's see what's in here. Bridge. Anything in the microwave? Anything in the fridge? Ketchup. Can of non-trademark infringing poopsie. Lettuce, old batteries, cheese. Let's open this cupboard. There's nothing inside. No, nope, nothing inside. Okay. What about this one? There's nothing inside. Well then. There's nothing inside. Well then. There's nothing inside. I assume there's nothing inside any of the There's nothing inside. Okay. All right. Make note of that stuff. Oh, fireplace. Uh, look at fireplace. The fireplace looks very clean. Shit. There's nothing to pick up in there. So I need to burn something? Oh, uh, could I? Uh... I can't pick up something I already have. Can I give Thimbleberry Pie to? Nope. Can I use the? I don't have time to eat pie right now, even though it looks great. Hmm. I don't think they're good for anything except growing mold. Can I burn the batteries? No. This. 
guy has batteries. So let's talk to Doug. Digging. All right. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? Let's see if he has All gasoline. Right, Doris, I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. Hi, Doug. Uh, what are you digging? I can't All right, talk. Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. You're doing a good job, Doug. I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. I can't leave nope. the mansion mansion hmm. yet. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Digging. Wood pile. Gas can. Digging. Digging. Let's use the firewood in the fireplace. It's Can special I... gas. For chainsaws, this log should burn really well now. Now, how do I set it on fire? What? There's nothing inside except an empty glass. There's nothing inside. Can't use the stove. Oh, what? Hold on. Let's build that glass. It's an empty glass. Okay. Carefully handling broken glass. I'll just pick up everything. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might be oh, fire. Fuck's sakes, are you Maybe serious? I should be careful. Of course. Right, okay, then I get water. The glass is now filled with water. Oh, okay, it just... I don't know why the audio went weird there. That would make a black sticky mess. If only I had something small to mix it in. Maybe I just need to... I'd better not mix water with that chainsaw gas. Who knows what could happen? That would just make a sludgy mess. I know it would. I can't push that. Hmm. I'll just pour this out. Yeah. The glass is now filled with chainsaw gas. The glass is now full of black ink. There we go. 
Let's go back up here and walk into the hall. Open the door. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. Yeah. Now let's. I answered that. all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Oh, there's no paper in Shit. the printer on three thousand. Shit. Fuck. There, the blank paper is back in the Printron 3000. Yay! I answered all Hopefully the questions works, no? correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I always like to watch this part. Now I just need to stamp the envelope. Stamp the envelope? With what? It's my job application of mucus phlegm. Hope I get it. Hello, my favorite niece. Thanks for chatting, you Uncle Chuck. Anything. Why don't you practice your ASCII conversion? That doesn't seem to work. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been canceled. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs. I don't want to pull the stamps off. They might rip. I have to find a safe way to remove the stamps. Water, I guess? Uh, open. Nope. Use faucet. Use empty glass. The glass sink. is now filled with water. Let's turn the faucet off. Can't waste water. That will just make the letter soggy. That will just make the letter soggy. It doesn't work in that. What can I use? There's... Right? Could I? I'd have to pick it up first. Perfect. My letter to Mucus Flem is now stamp. Look at me. I'm smart. I know how stamps work. Nope. Wrong thing. How exciting. I hope I get the job. Dolores, I have a letter for you. Oh! Good luck. See ya. D Digging in the front green. It's a letter from Mucus Phlegm. Did I get the job? I can't pull that. Digging in the front green. I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news. Okay, okay, okay. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Yeah, Dolores, you can do it. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Just fucking open it. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck. Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Thank you. Yes! It's a job offer for Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. 
I'm so excited. Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. He won't be proud. But first... <laughs> Doing a little dance. Let's just keep going until I just like click. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> wow. Okay. I should tell my dad first, right? It'd be the smart thing to do. Cause Uncle Chuck seems like he's a dickhead. I'm at the nope. staircase. Should I? I got a job offer from Mucus Flem. That's not going to make your Uncle Chuck happy. He really wants you to take over the pillow factory. Oh. Once he oh, sees shit. what I'm capable of, he'll be happy for me. I... I don't know, Dolores. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. Looks like he's having a heart attack. Poor guy. Should've taken a restroom break. Don't even cut to AFK screen. Uh, yeah, I, sh I should've, honestly. <laughs> Hello, my favorite niece. If I knew. <laughs> Uncle Chuck, Uncle Chuck, great news. Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh, here, read this. He's gonna, like, tear it up or some shit. Einstein looking motherfucker. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh, to be, uh, Game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over $10 million. That's $20 million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. 